I do more than support your dreams, baby, get you and me It's time to boss up, fix your credit, girl, get at it, get your bag up Hit that gym and get back fine, go get that degree, go girl, focus on me Unlock potential that you didn't know you had it, you fuck that nigga Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Diamond I'm a first year dental hygiene student in my senior year <sighs> It's almost over. Two more semesters and I'm done. It don't even sound real. Like, how did I almost finish three semesters that fast? It's crazy how fast time goes because the dental hygiene program keeps you busy. When I say for the past, hmm, I say 30 weeks since September. Well, not even September. Since the last week of August, I've been doing homework and quizzes every week. I don't think we had a weekend off except Christmas break where we didn't have nothing to turn in. But spring break, we had work quizzes tests, so it wasn't even a break. So I really haven't got a break since December. So I am very, very, very tired mentally of school. So I'm just so excited. Our last week of school is June 23rd third for local anesthesia that course been going good it's scary it hurts it's not the worst but like just it's just different it's different um i had anticipated this course i'm like we got time yeah, time just flew and so we definitely don't have time so um it came really quick um we already are in our fourth week so three more weeks of work and school work and stuff and then our the last week where we coming on a we come in on a 23rd and we just review our grades so that's why i say i only have three weeks left of school and i'm so happy um we have a two month break uh july and august and we'll start back for fall and <laughs> i already got my class schedule um i'm taking community dental health i'm taking dental hygiene um clinic three i think that might be clinic three i'm not sure clinic three and dental hygiene lecture i'm taking oral pathology and i'm taking one more class i didn't have to take our dental materials class because i already had took that one when i was in a dental assistant program <clears throat> so i didn't have to take that um it's one more class i'm missing it come to me but yeah so we already registered for the fall um last week our junior class came in and i was um giving them tours around the clinic and the locker rooms and the office where their patients come and just just showing them a little overview of the program and i'm just so excited to finally have other classmates outside of my senior class because we didn't have a senior class because we would have been the senior class we would have been graduating this year so it just been um, us this past few semesters, so it's going to be nice to have other classmates that understand what we're going through or we understand what they're going through so they have someone to lean on. So that was very exciting to see all those new faces and stuff like that. Uh, I wasn't going to say it, but I, I'm going to just say this. like I just I, For all the girls that are like me, you know, black, young, beautiful women. It's not a lot of us out here. Um, in my class, it's four of us out of 30. Um, the upcoming class, there's not one of us. Not one out of 30 people. So <clears throat> that kind of made me like, not even, it's not like, it didn't make me sad, but it just made me like, it really opened my eyes. Like this feel is highly white dominated and i feel like we we should be in this field as well not every black person shouldn't just want to be a nurse like we are the nurses of dental health we are the nurses of gum disease we are the nurses of so many other things and i just feel like people just overlook our career and the black culture like we need more of us in this field and i just hope one day it changed that's why i love to advocate and show 
as much as I can, guys, as much as I can about the program and like what I'm going through and stuff like that. I know I haven't recorded a real sit down video probably in like two months. It's just been hectic. That last semester, it had me by my neck, literally. Six classes, pharmacology. I, Lord, farm tried to take me out. I had, midterm, I had to get on my stuff because farm was beating me back. So um, I passed all my classes clearly because I'm in my third semester. Um, it was rough. I had to settle for some C's. I'm gonna be truly transparent. Um, I had to settle for some C's in some classes. Um, nutrition was one. Pharmacology, like I stated. Oh, those are the only two classes I had C's in. Um, nutrition, I don't know what happened with that. <laughs> it was hard. Nutrition is hard too. Like, I'm not going to just say, oh, I don't know what happened. I do. Nutrition wasn't easy either. So, yes. That semester really had me by my neck and I was scared and I was worried that I wouldn't pass to the next to the next semester. Um, my teachers told us second semester the hardest. I'm like, girl, it's first semester whooping my butt. Little did I know. <laughs> she won line about second semester. It's definitely way more tougher. So, and this semester, like I said, we're learning local and true, oh, baby. Even though it's by itself, it feels like nine classes. We literally have a quiz every day we meet, which is Tuesday and Thursday. Recently, we have a exam every week. We had our first exam last week. This week, we have our midterms. Next week, we have our second exam. After that, we have our third exam, which is um, nitrous exam. And then we have our final, which is the comprehensive. So literally, these past weeks, I've been buried in school literally no free time no fun time no extracurricular activities none of that it's straight school home school home because i literally have to lock in i take two boards this semester this summer nitrous and local anesthesia i want to get those out the way so come next year all i have to take is my clinical board my national dental hygiene board and um I miss one. Oh, it's it's two parts. That's why I'm like, why well, I think I take three? Cause I do. It's two parts to the written and then the clinical part. So I only want to focus on those come next year. I don't want to be trying to take nitrous and local and all that. Like, no, I want to get that stuff out the way now. So I really been locked in. Ain't really been dealing with people that I usually deal with. Um, it's just real. It's real life. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to explain that to people. You know what I'm saying? People that truly, you know, rock with me, they know what I'm going through. So I feel like, you know, the ones that get it, get it. The ones that don't, just don't. You know, I can't always be at every event. I can't always, you know, go to everything people want me to go to. I can't hang out just when people want me to. Like, I have to do what's best for me and my education. And I have a goal. What am I partying for now? I haven't graduated yet. I'm not celebrating until I'm done. I mean, I'm going to celebrate this summer because I worked hard these past three semesters. But I'm just saying, in the presence of still going to school, I'm not celebrating. I'm, I'm working hard to get where I need to be. And so, some people, you know, might feel like when you get in these programs, especially dental hygiene, they may feel like you're acting funny or you're acting different. But it's just like they don't understand. Like, dental hygiene is nothing to play with. When I say nothing... I mean nothing like it's very very hard and only the strong truly survives it's literally like a survival race each semester is not promised you're not promised that you're gonna go to the next semester just because i made it to three semesters ain't no telling how the fall may go you know so i really you know take it all in and i try to just do it the best that i can you know with kids and households and husband like I got a lot on my plate and I feel like I don't, I don't have extra room for anybody. No friends, associates, families, outside of the ones I see when I wake up and close my eyes. That's really all I have time for. And um, I just wanted to be real honest and transparent about that because people don't tell you that. They don't tell you how lonely it gets when, you, when you're when you trying to get to the top. And um, some people might spite you, hate you, be jealous of you especially family they say they happy for you but then down talk you in the same breath you know so you just have to deal with a lot you know so 
you just got to be strong-minded and level-headed and just know I got to go. Ain't nobody stopping me. And that's just that. So I just want to get on here and update you guys on the past semesters. I'm still here. I'm still straggling along. I'm still making it. I'm still doing the best of my ability. I loved, love, love, love seeing patients last semester. Um, our requirements, we had to see a total of 18. I seen, I seen 21. So I had a couple extra to go into my fall semester. Uh, Cause each semester they got a maximum of patients you see. So those little couple extra will be added to fall when I start seeing patients. So yes, I love that. I, I'm gonna put a couple clips in, just pictures, clips, anything that I got from that semester. No, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't ask me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out I wish I could have recorded more, had my clients and patients record more, but I had a job to do. I had a grade to receive. So I, all that other stuff I wasn't thinking about, but um, it's just been a good experience so far. I'm just doing so much stuff. I'm the vice president of our dental hygiene club. I'm on our, I'm on our board for the school. Can't really disclose too much on that. Um, the past weekend, two weekends ago, I um, was on a panel for student hygiene, not even student hygienists, it was just students in different career fields in pro different programs of our school. Um, we basically just talked to teen girls and, you know, told them our experiences, you know, what we're going through, how to keep pushing through it all. And I'm just, I'm truly blessed to be in a position that I am in. Like, I'm so blessed, and I just thank God just for pushing me through, even when I feel weak, even when I feel down, even when I feel like I, I don't know if I can do it. God, just always be by my side. Um, this experience really opened up my eyes, you know, and it's hard when you don't have family and support and people that love and care about you, surrounding you, pushing you. Um, like I said, my household, they do that. But sometimes you need just a little more because <clears throat> we all get caught up in what we're doing, you know. So I just, you know, if you got a good support family, lean on them when you need them. When you truly need them, lean on them. So, yeah, I just wanted to get on here, update you guys. Everything going well. I'm doing well. Uh, this semester got me out of chokehold too, but I'm pushing through. I'm going to do the best that I can to pass. I'm not even checking on no grades. I really don't care. As long as I pass and pass my boards, that's all I care about. It's like once you get to a certain point in this program, you realize it's so hard. It's so hard to keep above an 88 just for a B. You know, so 
it's like once you once you're under 88, you automatically at a C. So it's like, it's so hard and it's so mentally draining. And it's, ugh. I can't even explain to y'all like how I feel about the grading system. Like I understand y'all want us to keep it 80. I fully understand that, you know, cause I won't want no C, no real, I guess real C average person in my mouth. But I mean, I feel like even then, I don't know, but <sighs> It's just, yeah, the grading system sucks. And um, it, it literally will put a damper on how you feel like you're doing. So you just can't let that get to you. Don't worry about those grades. Just do the best you can to pass each semester, period. No employer is going to ask you, oh, what grades you got? No, they just want to see your license and see that you're competent and that you know how to communicate with patients and just truly be the best dental hygienist. Like, those grades won't matter. So, yes. I'm, I'm just, man, I'm just so excited to be in my senior year. Oh my gosh, like you guys, it don't even be feeling real. Like sometimes I gotta pinch myself. I gotta pinch myself to make sure it's real. So yes, thank you guys for watching my videos, subscribing. I truly appreciate that. Um, this is a new journey for me, so I'm just learning as I go. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep you guys updated, do a couple little extra videos just to add something to my page. And, yeah, just subscribe, like, leave me a comment. Anybody in the dental hygiene program, tell me your experiences, how you push through, um, give any advice to me. If you completed the program, if you're just starting, good luck. Like, you got this. Work hard in the beginning so in the end you won't have to. Because that end of semester, you'll be so trained. So, like, I really preach that. Like, work hard now so you don't have to work harder later. So, yes. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. I'll do more than support your dreams, baby. Get you and me. It's time to boss up. Fix your credit, girl. Get at it. Get your bag up. Hit that gym and get back fine. Go get that degree. Go, girl. Focus on me. Unlock potential that you didn't know you had in you. Fuck that.